welcome back wow it doesn't seem like it's possible that we were together about a month ago um, I wish you a very happy 2021 and I hope that while your Christmas was probably a little bit different that everything you it was everything that you hoped and prayed it would be and I'm hoping that you're working on making 2021 a special year one of keys within yourselves, your families, and all those who come, you come in contact with. Let us be the face of Jesus to whoever we meet. Today, our um, session is on prayer. There are so many forms of prayer that we can um, pray. And many times we get locked into one form of prayer, such as the, you know, the usual prayers, which... We should say them, the Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory Be, um, Act of Contrition, prayers of that sort. Um, there's also, we know that we can just talk to God, talk to Jesus whenever um, whenever we need to speak to him or whenever we, we need him, we want to say thank you. But today we're going to do two different forms of prayer, and I love both forms of prayer. And the first one we're going to we're going to do is a, a form of prayer called Lexio Divina. And Lexio Divina is a way to pray with scriptures. So we're going to start by viewing a video called Lexio Divina, a step-by-step -step guide. I'm Joan, and I want to tell you about my experience of Lectio Divina. I had trouble, like a lot of people, praying and paying attention to the scriptures. The Bible would scare me, really. I couldn't figure out how to get into it. And my prayer life was mostly occasional bursts of words toward God. So I never felt like I was growing in my prayer. But two years ago, when my parish priest introduced me to Lectio Divina, I had a whole other take on things, both on prayer and on the scriptures. This prayer form gave me a new sense of hope and showed me how the Holy Spirit can act in my life. So I invite you to take a few minutes to learn about Lexio Divina, this treasured method of talking with God. Thanks, Joan. I'm Father Eduardo. Lexio Divina, translated from Latin, means divine reading. It's a five-step method of praying with the scriptures. Each step can open up the treasure of God's word and lead to life-giving encounters with Jesus Christ. Lexio Divina is a unique method because it's about reading the word of God so as to listen deeply to it and experience the presence and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Christians have been using this method of praying with the scriptures since the third century and today Pope Francis, in Joy of the Gospel, recommends Lectio Divina as a particular way of listening to God. Pope Benedict XVI elaborated the five steps of Lectio Divina in his message to the church titled, The Word of the Lord. Here's how it works. Step one, read the scripture passage. Step two, meditate on its meaning for you. Step three, pray based on your meditation. Step four, contemplate the loving presence of God. And then step five, with the help of the Holy Spirit, act to find new direction in your life. Joan will help me to teach this method to you. Before she starts, Joan selects some verses from the scriptures. Today she has chosen St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter five, verses 17 to 20. She finds a quiet place to avoid distraction. She places herself in the presence of God and prays for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The first step in Lectio Divina is reading the scriptures, the living and inspired word of God. You can read the passage out loud or silently. In this first step, we ask the question, what does the biblical text say in itself? Brothers and sisters, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. 
the old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ, and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Joan now moves on to step two, meditating on the scriptures. She reads the scripture passage again, either silently or out loud, and dialogues in her heart with the word of God, pondering questions and seeing new things. She looks for a word, a phrase, or an idea that comes to mind and touches her heart. Once this happens, she asks the question, what does the biblical text say to me? Brothers and sisters, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. The part of the passage that touched my heart is whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. I'm not exactly sure why at this point. I only know that the words whoever is in Christ is a new creation and new things have come just seem to pop out at me as I meditated on the passage. I have not been praying as much as I would like to lately and I feel bad about that. Joan now enters into the third step, prayer. Aware of God's loving presence, Joan prays, asking how the Spirit is prompting her to respond to God through the words that she is meditating on. She asks the question, what do I say to the Lord in response to his word? Depending on her situation, she could thank God and and praise God ask God for strength or courage or or pray for someone else. Joan listens to God, speaking to her heart in this passage, and then she talks to the Lord in prayer. The parts of the passage, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away, and behold, new things have come. Give me hope. I have been impatient and angry with people. When I don't pray, I lose my center, and my impatience with others only gets worse, which makes me anxious and unhappy, since that's not who I want to be. I want to change. So in prayer, I asked God for help. The fourth step of Lecture Divina is contemplation. Joan now becomes still and focuses on God as revealed in the scriptures and her experience. She rests in God's loving embrace and beholds God's glory and majesty. No words are necessary, only attention to the God who created her and now is transforming her into a new creation in Christ. In my contemplation, I felt a peace in God's presence and an assurance that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide me. I also had a sense of hope since I know it is God's grace and power that help me to change. The fifth step of Lectio Divina is action. The sense of desiring to know and do the will of God with confidence in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, Joan now asks, what is God's will for me? She waits for the Holy Spirit and seeks new direction in her life. Not every experience of Lectio Divina will result in a specific action. We need to be attentive to the ways in which we can bring about God's kingdom and do God's will. I see that I have to pray more. I will make time for prayer each morning. 7 a.m. works best for me since I'm a morning person, and this is a good time for me in our household. At least it's a start to a better prayer life. I trust that after I meet the Lord each day in prayer, that my relationship with others in my life will improve. 
I trust that God's promise in this scripture can come true for me. Whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Anyone can use these five easy steps in praying the scriptures. Each of us will have a different experience with Lectio Divina because we're all at different stages on our spiritual journey. Wherever you are on your journey, have confidence that Lectio Divina is a proven way for you to experience the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. One, read the scripture passage. Two, meditate on its meaning for you. Three, pray based on your meditation. Four, contemplate the loving presence of God. And then five, the help of the Holy Spirit. Act to find a new direction in your life. Try Lexa Divina and get in touch with God, the scriptures, and yes, with yourself. In some ways, that might be, very, you know, a lot to take in at one moment, but you can find that video on.